Uh, my name is Andy Sachs. I recently graduated from Northwestern University. And what are you doing here? <clears throat> well, I think I could do a good job as your assistant. And, um... Yeah, I came to New York to be a journalist and uh, sent letters out everywhere and then finally got a call from Elias Clark and met with Cherry up at Human Resources and... Basically, it's this or auto universe. In this scene from Devil Wears Prada, Andy messes up her interview for Runway. She lets Miranda, her interviewer, know that she knows nothing about the company and also informs her that this job is simply one among several that she has listed. Hi, this is Sophia Chand from Girls Buzz. Today's video is about how honest should you really be in your interview. Before moving forward, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon for more such updates. So how does one have a balanced and formal approach in an interview? Don't downplay your interests. Well, we all know that the primary reason for applying for any job involves one's financial interests. Even your interviewer knows this. So when you are asked why you have applied for this job, you cannot simply let your employer know that it's all for the money. This will clearly show your employers that you are disinterested in the job you have applied for. Let's see an example here. Please tell me why you have applied for this role. Actually, you know, I just completed my graduation and started applying for different jobs. Uh, this job kind of just popped up on my LinkedIn search and I thought it would be nice to you know work in such a place at this time in my career. It doesn't matter if this job is simply a stepping stone to reach higher goals, you cannot underestimate the role of the job itself during an interview. It takes your interviewer no time to understand how much you value the job. So sit back and do your research. Show them that you are interested and that you are capable of carrying out the responsibilities of the job. For more interview tips, check out this video mentioned on the top left or the description below. Don't express over-enthusiasm. Showing too little interest leaves a negative impression in an interview and so does showing over-enthusiasm. You might be very interested in a job or an organization, but showing over-excitement can work against you in an interview. It will make the interviewers think that your high regard for the job might stand as a barrier in carrying out your tasks practically. Let's go through another example. So why are you interested in working with our organization? This organization means a lot to me. I think it has changed the world for the good. If I get this job, it will be a dream come true. I'm extremely excited about this opportunity. I cannot believe that this is real. This response points out how there is a lack of practical planning and that you should get the job just because you love it so much and not because you are qualified. Share little information about your personal life. How much information one should share about their personal life in an interview? Interviewers do not need to know everything about your personal life. Obviously, you need to express your personal priorities, that is a must, but do this without adding many details. Let me show you an example over here. Do you want to share anything else? Uh, yes. I will only work 9 to 5. I cannot give you time after that. Actually, I cannot handle much work pressure, you know, because I have a child at home. My child is very particular about food and I have to personally be there. Otherwise, he won't eat anything. Motherhood, you know. I'm fully dedicated to this job. Don't worry. That's not what I mean. But I would really appreciate, you know, if I don't get a very high pressure and very engaging tasks for a while. Your interviewers do not want to know your sob story. They want to know if you can do your job with dedication and commitment. Prioritizing your special needs can become an issue. Having said that, some essential ones must be put forward but subtly and a mutual agreement can be arrived at. For example, Yes, I would really appreciate it if working after work hours is reserved for emergencies. 
I think work life balance is really important and uh, I should be able to carry out my personal responsibilities. It will not only make me feel complete but will also enhance my productivity and creativity. Maintain a balance and speak in a formal tone. Now let's go through some points that will help you to respond properly in an interview. Do your research about the role and the company before appearing for an interview. Speak only what is relevant and frame your answers to display your professional abilities. Convince the interviewer that you are fit for the role. For more tips on how to introduce yourself in the interview, click on the link on the top left or the description below. Be authentic. Don't give the impression that you have memorized your answers, but instead try to be real without oversharing. Don't be a superhero. Every human has flaws. Embrace them and accept your limitations. This reflects that you are self-aware and would work towards overcoming your limitations. Lastly, do not undersell your potential. There is no need to underestimate yourself and downplay your talent. Please do like, share and comment if you found this video interesting. We hope our interview tips help you prepare for your next interview. All the best.